Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Washington Post, Trump rejected a settlement that would have circumvented indictment for classified data that he declassified as a former president. Navy versus Egan is the Supreme Court uh, landmark ruling that allows a president to declassify anything. The hilarious thing about all of this is that part of the settlement almost certainly was never to run again, which is absolutely hilarious. So according to certain reports on MSNBC, part of the settlement was that he just decides never to run again, which is really the antithesis of democracy. It is the most absurd and outlandish, if this is true, according to MSNBC, um, and according to this Washington Post article, if Trump indictment former president rejected settlement, according to a report, this is just out, if this is true, Trump did, of course, the right thing. Why would you accept a plea deal or a settlement offer that involved you not running again. What, just a question to the morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats who happen to stumble upon this channel. Imagine if a Republican administration indicted Clinton and before they indicted Clinton for servers siphoning top secret and special access program intelligence said, oh, by the way, you can circumvent or avoid indictment you just have to promise never to run for president. Do you think that would do you think in like that would be there would be any chance in the known universe that that would ever happen? Hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your support. These segments are doing very well and look, there's a lot going on and I can't wait uh, to get into 2024 and the, and the tail end of 2023. Um, but the audacity, the hubris, the narcissism involved, the arrogance, the audacity to demand that somebody, like, could you imagine if the shoe were on the other foot? But also, what did Trump do? If it, What did he do to deserve such venom and vitriol and disdain and contempt? We had a record low poverty under Trump. We had record highs in household median income in 2019. What did this man, even if you don't, you don't even have to like him. You don't even have to like Trump's personality. What on earth did this man do to deserve such vitriol? You get these responses like, oh, he upended democracy. He tried to do this. He tried to do that. He was never indicted on any of those things. The only things he was indicted on were like these fabricated, politically motivated indictments. One in New York by Democrats. Oh, like imagine if you had a red state, red city going after the Clintons or Bidens. The Democrats, the only thing they would say was, oh my God, they want the judge. They want the judge recused because God forbid she was appointed by Trump. Could you imagine if a Republican attorney general indicted Biden or Hunter or 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 uh Hillary or 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 Bill oh bring don't put me into this bring me out of this it's like oh get me out of this don't use my name in vain could you imagine I mean it's unbelievable so they live in this like fantasy world where they can pack the courts and abolish the filibuster and um, what else? I mean, all of these things that are like completely, oh, um, Green New Deal that they didn't even vote on in the Senate. And all of these these ideas that even 10 years ago would seem so outlandish and absurd to, pr to promise a person you won't indict them. So... Just, you want to indict them if they refused, if they just acquiesce and kowtow. And Trump said, no way. He said, no way. So he rejected a settlement offer because, number one, he declassified that material. Number two, I don't trust the CNN reporting. So CNN reporting, according to sources, stated that 
Trump clearly admitted guilt. And then that's within the indictment. But you don't know if the indictment is just uh, based on a transcript from sources at CNN. They say that they say that um, they say that. Oh well, he heard, that people heard. Um, uh, prosecutors heard the audio tape. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure about that. And even if Trump said, "Oh, I can declassify," but I can't, or I couldn't declassify it anymore. It's it's secret, and it's classified, and I have it. Even if he said that, he could be lying or engaging in hyperbolic, you know, hyperbole. It's interesting because Trump never lies in a hot mic. But he always lies. So the Washington Post has 40,000 Trump lies. Meanwhile, they don't do President Obama, certainly not Joe or Hillary. Can you imagine the lies being told? And what they do is, like, the greatest lie of all, the, the greatest information that misinforms, like, the greatest example of information that misinforms is, well, there's no evidence. This is a fact. These are the fact checks from the gullible and naive among us. There's no evidence that Joe Biden is a part of anything to do with Trump's indictment. How much of a naive, gullible imbecile do you have to be to truly believe that there's no evidence to suggest that Joe Biden's White House, a Democratic administration with a Democratic attorney general, is going after Trump for political purposes? There's absolutely no evidence except Democrats in New York have gone after him. Democrats in Georgia want to. Democrats in D.C. Democrats um, in the special counsel in, uh, appointed by Merrick Garland, a Democrat, went after Trump for crimes that pale in comparison are a complete joke compared to what Clinton did with servers. So the double standard is there. I mean... The hypocrisy, you should always, whenever you talk, whenever you debate, don't actually debate. Don't debate with any morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat. Because oftentimes it's very easy to form a rebuttal. And almost always you should engage in whataboutism. Whatever, it used to be called hypocrisy. So they, what they do is they redefine words into these stupid euphemisms. So whataboutism used to be an embarrassing um, you know, an embarrassing show of hypocrisy. You used to be mortified to be that hypocritical. Like, like you, you had to be the greatest narcissist in the world to be that hypocritical. Now it's just called, what about him? Oh, no, no, don't bring up Clinton. It's like, well, why not? <laughs> By the way, I think she'll be the 24 nominee for the Democratic Party. I don't know how, but I just can't imagine mashed potato brains uh, over, oh, you know, surpassing Clinton or whatever, you know, preventing Clinton from becoming nominee. Anyway, um, you should always bring up the double standard. What about is hypocrisy? It's called hypocrisy. You should always bring up the fact that it has zero, absolutely nothing to do with the rule of law. If you think it's about the rule of law, then, like I said, probably very naive, gullible, or you're part of a cult called the Democratic Party. It's not about the rule of law. If it was about the rule of law, then you would apply the legal statutes to Democrats as well, who have done infinitely worse. So it, it's, it's, it's like with Trump, they're going after a person who's jaywalking and just letting Al Capone go. So it's like you have to look at computer servers and boxes you could buy from Home Depot, which is worse, which is worse, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat boxes with declassified data because you have to prove, the prosecutors have to prove, and this is why it'll be either a mistrial or an acquittal. You have to prove that Trump didn't declassify. He's a president with the power to declassify. Clinton was not. Clinton was Secretary of State and managed to have secret private servers for four years. How that is not a national security nightmare, I don't know. That even President Obama didn't know, but of course he knew. Because there are emails from Cheryl Mills saying he knew. So, okay. I mean, again, like, you, everyone sees this. And even Democrats know that the, the absolute stunning, mind-boggling double standard. But anyway, uh, Trump said, you know what? Uh, take your offer and place it where the sun don't shine.